<laughs> Chris Usan, I've been looking forward to seeing you. The chairman turned himself in. It's even shown up on the news. Oh, I know. <laughs> I expected nothing less. It all happened so suddenly, too. He confessed all of his crimes. The police came to question me after that, but they ultimately concluded that I'm innocent. Apparently, the chairman took full responsibility for the ADP and admitted he was brainwashing all of its members. Oh, and speaking of members, some of them said they've stopped using the Holy Stone because of my advice. It was all the clients you sat in with, Kurususan. Um... You know, I never saw this as a possible outcome in my readings. Not only have the fates of the ADP members improved, but even my own has begun to shift. It's almost like this curse that's followed me ever since the villagers called me a monster has passed. Well, you know what? I'm glad to hear that. Yes. Uh-huh. Still not ready for a rank up? I'm gonna have to use Chihaya's ability on Chihaya again. That reminds me, my readings told me I could I would accomplish my objective with the aid of the trickster. But I'm not sure what exactly that was supposed to mean. It's such a mystery. That aside, the ADP is finished. Nobody else will be deceived. Um. Oh, I just realized something. Remember how I told you how the chairman knew I was a runaway? Well, I was wandering around the city with luggage at my side. Anyone could have figured that out, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I knew it! I know how fragile I was back then, but it's still embarrassing to think I let myself believe he was a psychic. But I guess some men are good at knowing when a woman is vulnerable. You're, you're telling me, sister. Are you one of those men, Krususan? Uh, excuse me? The truth is, there's actually something else besides the chairman that I want to talk to you about. Um, this is so embarrassing. Krususan, are you interested in older women? <laughs> Heck yeah, I am! Really? I just can't not say that response, dude. It's so funny. Really? I mean, how interesting. That's really rude of me. I'm kind of leading Chihaya on right now. I'm definitely dating Hifumi. Oh, sorry. If we have time to waste talking about nonsense like that, we have time to read fortunes, right? <laughs> Heck yeah, brother. Celestial reading. Triggers a fusion alarm, then raises alarm chance until the end of the day. I totally forgot that she could trigger fusion alarms. It's actually super useful. All right. But... Even though the chairman turned himself in, there are still some things left unresolved. Most importantly, the other members of the ADP are still confused as to what exactly is going on. So I need to set things straight. This is partially my fault after all. Right? The real battle starts now. Oh. It's getting late. I should close up for today. Goodbye. Good night. So we're getting really close to being done with all the nighttime confidants. I wonder, we have one more deadline before the third semester. I wonder if I'll be able to max out all of the confidants. There's one confidant you can only max out during the third semester. But I wonder if I'll be able to max out all the confidants before the third semester. We still have quite a ways to go on Haru, Makoto, Futaba, and especially Shinya. But we're done with all the other daytime confidants, except we have to do one rank up with Takemi and two rank ups with Ryuji. We might be able to. It might be doable. I've been doing a lot of thinking. I'm only a country bumpkin who ran from her hometown. What can I really accomplish? And then I realized something. I could have easily ran away from the chairman like I did back then. But I didn't. I stood firm, and I think that's thanks to your influence. It was all your own will. Nonsense. I'm not that strong of a person. All right, we're good for rank nine. Very nice. Only two rank ups to go. I only got this far because I had you at my side. In other words, I think this was all part of our fate. I'll do my best to give them hope, the same hope you gave me. I can't turn my back on the ADP members any longer. I hope you'll keep watching over me through it all. Until next time. All right, peace out. Isn't the, did that message say, isn't the admin okay, sus as a bad word? I'm changing my lesson for today. Instead of a regular class, we'll be reviewing last week's materials. I suggest you listen carefully. But don't think you can slack off, okay? I absolutely won't allow it. No slacking off. All right, I'm going to slack off. What do you want to do? Uh, I don't really have any more reading to do. You want to make some infiltration tools, oh. I guess. You know what I can really use? More lockpicks. I need four more liquid mercury, dude. Hey, dude, you can only craft a couple with the amount of time Kawakami's given you. Oh, yeah, a couple. Like, a uh, 12? That's just a few. Hey. Hey. Nice. 
Sensei, the guy in front of me is making homemade bombs during class again. Can you please tell him to stop? He's making me uncomfortable. Get over it, Jimmy. Stop being such a wuss. Kids are all about making homemade bombs these days. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're just gonna go rank up Peru, right? Yeah. I do really want to get to Kemi to 10 during this deadline if we can. I would really like to get to Kemi to 10. If we do, awesome. It's fine if we wait to the next deadline to get her to 10, but I would like to have her done and out of the way. Because other than Shinya, she's the only other uh, non-teammate confidant during the day, I think. Did I return that book that I finished? Because you don't have any more, right? I read them all. What would you like? I need to return this Thank book. You. There what you go. You like? I'd like to borrow. These are all the books you can check out. I have read them all. All right, cool. I can't believe that wasn't a Thieves' Den achievement for reading all the Persona ally books. Let's go rank up Peru. I think we're going to be getting her to five, so she'll be halfway already, you know? We might be able to max everyone out before the uh, end of the next deadline, before the third semester. We'll see. We just need to wait until the day of the announcement, yada yada, let's hang out. Why, thank you. I'd like you to spend some time with me if you're free. I need to speak with you about Takakura-san. We've got Harity, so let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get some coffee while we talk. Oh, I know. Why don't we try it at Big Bang Burger for a change? Why don't we just go to LeBlanc, girl? Um. I looked into Takakura-san, but I didn't manage to find very much beyond those initial rumors. Several people I asked said that he often complained about my father, but just as many seemed to say the exact opposite. One side has to be deceiving me, correct? I'm honestly sus of everyone at this point. Haru would thrive in Among Us. Trust no one, not even yourself, Haru. S somebody's telling the truth. Yes. I see. If there are two contradictory stories, one of them has to be right. I suppose I'll need to learn the truth of the matter myself. Dude, I am nailing these be Haru honest. conversations. She is best Phantom Thief girl, only beaten out by Hafumi as best girl. To be honest, Takakura, at least in Persona 5, you know, if we're talking Persona in general, as much as I love Haru, she's got to take, like, fourth place because Labrys and Mitsuru are so up there. To be honest, Takakura-san has been pushing the marriage particularly hard lately. He says it will help provide vital backup for myself and Okumura Foods, both in public and in private. What does he expect you to birth an heir? What is this? The 15th century? He's even started asking Sugimura-san into important company meetings. All right, that... Th Takakura needs to be put in his place. We have a contract. Does this mean it's already too late? Is marrying him my only option? Absolutely not! Though now that I think about it, that may be my best chance to help the employees my father left behind. There has to be another way. You're right. Perhaps I shouldn't give up so easily. Either way, graduation is quickly approaching. I'll need to decide my course of action soon enough. You know, before you came along, I hadn't even considered not going through with this marriage. I believe I would simply marry the man my father had chosen and let the rest of my life pass me by. I wonder what would have happened if my father didn't have a palace. Would I have just resigned myself to the fate he had made for me? I don't think so. Akira Kun. Thank you. Thank you. You always know how to make me feel better. Dude, I'm nailing these music notes. Honestly, though, things would have been far worse for me if I hadn't joined the Phantom Thieves. Plus, I would never have had anyone to talk to like this. Um, if there's anything I can do to return the favor, please tell me. I want to help you as much as I can. Just keep getting these rank ups, girl. Get these abilities. Bumper crop increases the total vegetable yield for a single harvest. All right. So useful for all those vegetables I never harvest. <sighs> I hope someday I can just look out at the sea with a nice cup of coffee and forget about all this. And I hope you'll be there with me, Akira-kun. We can forego the elephants, though. Don't worry. Oh, thank goodness. Now, shall we return home? Let's go home, indeed. Bomb. Hello, this is Akira Kun, right? I wanted to apologize for all the weird stuff I said earlier. You, you know how I talked about how things would have been if I hadn't joined the Phantom Thieves. Once I started to imagine that again, this powerful fear came flooding back. We're all here for you. That's true. Thank you. It's always when I'm alone that the doubt creeps in. Honestly, a little surprised that wasn't worth a music note. And so I'm indebted to you once again. I'll have to work hard so I can repay you. 
Sorry if I worried you. Okay, see you. Alright, goodbye. Can't imagine eating vegetables. Ew, that doesn't sound like meat or fast food. Ridiculous. Why haven't they been arrested? What is the government doing? Dude, I ask myself that question about the government every day. Also, I'm in single digit... Uh, well, not technically single digit because there's a decimal, but... Less than 10 popularity. Send help. Arrest those phantom thieves already? Should the diet really be dissolving at a time like this? Shouldn't the safety of the citizens be the top priority? How are we supposed to feel safe? Don't, forehead. Ah, you're back. Give me a crossword. We have not had a crossword today, man. An important matter. I got a scoop. I still would rather do a Ketchy's rank up close to... Like, I want to do it as close to the due date as possible, basically. Is pretty much the conclusion I've come to. Let's do it. I'm going to hit a save right here just to be super safe about it. So, yeah. Let's go rank up Oya because we want to get her, Chihaya, and Awai done. Get them to 10 during this next deadline. I don't think we'll get any of them to 10 during this deadline. Although, we might get one of them to 10 during this deadline. But, uh... Because we've only got, what? When the... We've only got six more days after this? So, theoretically, we could. You know what we really need to do? We need to talk to <laughs> Futaba one of these days. So, we can start ranking up Sojuro again. I want to get him done. We should definitely be able to get all of the nighttime confidants done during the next deadline. It's just a matter if I'll be able to get all of the daytime confidants done. So the chief reduced my quota, and he even apologized to me. He said he's been concerned for my health, which is actually kind of creepy now that I think about it. Anyway, that's not all. He said he's letting me reopen my investigation into what happened to Kayo. He told me he wants me to do everything I can to pursue the truth. I think he was serious. I wonder what happened to make him change so suddenly. Sounds like he reflected on his actions. What, just out of the blue? Hmm. The whole thing's too convenient. It seems a little fishy, you know? I mean, you asked me for the chief's name the other day, right? Did I? I can't remember. Huh. Why are you giving him such a hard time? Aren't you going to tell him the other good news? I... I know where Kayo is. That was part of the chief's apology to me. Apparently, he did some investigating on his own. So he followed up on my journalist friend's source, and it turns out she really is alive after all. I'm glad to hear it. This is incredible news. So where is she? A mental hospital. That explains why she hasn't been able to contact me this whole time. I really want to go see her, but to be honest, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to know the truth. Not just about Kayo's current state, but about what happened to her that night, too. You gotta pursue- you gotta reach out to the truth. Haven't you ever played Persona 4? You voiced a character in Persona 4. I know that. Honestly, I shouldn't be afraid to face the truth I've been chasing for so long, but I am. What a coward. I won't let that stop me, though. I'll fulfill my promise and find out what happened to Kayo. I'm gonna go see her. No matter what happens, I need to see this through to the end. Otherwise, I wouldn't be Yachiko Oya, journalist extraordinaire. I'm really glad I talked to you about this. I never would have made my mind up without your help. You know, you're way more than just some high school kid. You're almost like my guidance counselor. What? All right, she's not ready for a rank up, but that's fine. Honestly, with how close we are to maxing out all of the nighttime confidants and like running out of nighttime confidants to hang out with, we could, I mean, we could use Chahaya's ability as well, but we could honestly afford to just basically throw a night away to hanging out with Oya to get her ready for a rank up. All right. It wouldn't be a problem at all. Oh, by the way, everything with the chief worked out okay, but the higher ups are still keeping an eye on me. So I'll keep coming to you for juicy tidbits. I'll keep... I'll, I can't read. I... Dude, I made up my own sentence for this one. I took some of the words that are on screen and tried to, like, word, word scramble them into my own sentence. I, I'm dying. So I'll need you to keep the juicy tidbits coming. I can't stop writing about the Phantom Thieves now. <laughs> All right, let's see what you have for me today. I enthralled Oya with my stories about the Phantom Thieves. I feel like my charm is increased. Hey. Well, then. Can't wait for next time. I can.
Oh, I do still need to do darts one more time with Akechi, don't I? That's right. Hi, you good to talk? Thanks for pushing me to go see Kayo. I'm a journalist. From now on, I'm always gonna chase the truth. Grab a souvenir for me. Okay, I'll bring back some tasty local brews and... Oh wait, you're still underage. That sucks. I'll come back with some awesome stories, so let's meet up again. Okay, I'm gonna hang up. Gotta pack for my big trip. See ya. Alright, later, loser. Please don't come back. We do need to go do darts with Akechi one last time. Hiya. Hey! We're sending the calling card on the 18th, so we have less than a week left now. <sighs> Six days! I'm getting nervous. It'll be fine. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. You're so strong, Akira. I have to be more like you. This mission will determine our fate. We have to succeed no matter what. We're gonna succeed. Don't you worry. By the way... Do you like hearing your own voice? No. Absolutely not. Have you ever heard a recording of your own voice? Were you surprised? I hear a recording of my voice a lot, unfortunately. That's because when you hear your voice normally, you hear it through your bones. The voice you hear in a recording that makes you feel uncomfortable is unmistakably your own voice. Now then, Krusukun. Hello. Is me. Has hearing someone's voice over the phone ever felt strange to you? I wonder, do you know why voices sound so different over the phone? Because the voice is synthetic? I think it's because the voice is synthetic. It, like, recreates the voice, right? This is it. I'm, I'm a genius. Well done. That's correct. I'm surprised you knew the answer. The sound is synthetic. It's practically not even their voice anymore. To transmit data, cell phones use a certain way of encoding your voice into digital information. And when your phone has to use that data to reassemble a voice, it can only do so much. Nice going. Easy. Hey, look, my knowledge is still maxed. What a shock. Oh, you think you'd be able to tell if you were hearing a computer talking? As long as the tone and in intonation... Intonation match, the listener's brain fills in any other differences. Most of our communication is based on assumptions. Nice. Yeah, my voice just sounds like meows to people who don't know me. Jeez, assumptions are dangerous. Well, you know what they say about those assumptions, brother. You know what they say about them. They're bad, don't do them. Hey. Six days remain. You know, hanging out with Shinya today would not be the worst thing ever. Makoto and Ryuji are both available, though. We we should do this bit with Futaba. Yeah. Let's get this let's get this bit with Futaba done, so that we can start ranking up her and Sojuro again, because it's holding us back from both of them. Akira, about my uncle. I want to head into Mementos right now. Dun, dun, dun. It'll be time-consuming and dangerous, not an easy task. Are you free to go today? Let's get it done. Thanks. This is a family issue, so I want to do it alone with you. Oh, and I sent my nun- uh, my- I was gonna say my nuncle. I sent my uncle an anonymous letter, so the calling card part's taken care of. Here we go. <sighs> there it is. My uncle's shadow. Oh, we're in the, uh, the new area of mementos. He's saying money, money. Thank goodness he's saying that and not mommy, mommy. That'd make this weird. He forced Sojuro to pay back his debts. He made me go through horrible things, too. Joker, make him have a change of heart. All right, Ariadne, give me all your power. <laughs> money, money, money. It doesn't matter who gives it to me. Just give me my money. 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 Very Mr. Krabs. Hey, did you bring me my money? Where's me money, Sponge Boy? Why don't you sell that stupid shop and give me the money? It's consolation money. It's reparations. You have to. You have to give me your money. I'm not giving you any money. If I have enough money, I can keep gambling until I hit another jackpot. What a moron. If you won't give me any money, then I'm going to destroy you. All right, prepare to get wrecked, idiot. Oh my goodness, it's Gary Mikala! I'm not getting destroyed by someone like him. Let's go, Joker. I probably should have gotten our scent out for this. Life is one big gamble. Do you think he reflects physical? If he doesn't reflect physical, do you think Charge Beast Weaver would one-shot him? I bet it would. Aren't you normally weak to light? All right. This is gonna hurt. Didn't do too much. What about Garudan? Not bad. Nice. Good dodge. Good dodge. Uh... Surely he doesn't reflect physical in a 1v1. I need to know. Get a crit. 
Easy. Uh, charge. And then you will die to Beast Weaver. Based on the damage we've been doing. I'm willing to bet it all. Thank goodness. Oh, critical damage. Ah, that was over 6,000. I absolutely, if, it, if I knew it would be a crit, I absolutely could have just charged Beast Weavered out the gate. Even without the crit, I think it might have one-shot him. I lost. It's all over. I love Ariadne, dude. Oh, I love Labras. Seriously? Wakaba was smart and competent. I'm just a loser. I guess things would always turn out this way. You were thinking about mom? I'm so Even back then, I thought just being normal was okay. Then my whole world changed when I won a lot of money through gambling. Everyone who thought I was worthless started being jealous of me. Ha. <laughs> I couldn't forget that feeling. It made me feel like I was smart and competent, like Wakaba. That's pretty stupid. Ha, <laughs> you're absolutely right. But maybe I've realized that too late. Futaba, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Wakaba. Uncle. Venture Saber. Why did we get a weapon for the cat from this? Now he won't sue anyone, right? Sojuro's safe now. Yoji Yashiki seems to have had a change of heart. I should check on Sojuro. Alright, so we're all caught up on our requests now. 